Hello ladies and gentlemen, um, in this video uh, we are going to see how to drop or how to delete a database in the SQL Server 2008. In the uh, previous video we have seen how to create a database and we have created two uh, databases, one is test and test1. Now in this session we would uh, see how to delete a database from the SQL Server. Now let's try to delete test and test1 from the SQL Server. Now prior to that let us look at the uh, syntax how to delete a database from the SQL Server. Now in SQL Server terminology we do not use the word delete. We use the word draw. So here the syntax for deleting a or in fact dropping a database from the SQL Server is drop database followed by database underscore name. Now here you can see the moment I said drop database you can see here the entire list of the databases whatever is currently present it has popped up. So if in case we would like to delete any database we just have to select that and we just have to hit OK. Now I'm going to do that in the next next line. I said drop database Here you can see test. I am just pressing enter and that's it. It has selected. Now I said drop database test. Highlight the syntax and the query. Parse it. Okay, no errors. So let's hit on execute. So it says that the command completed successfully and query executed successfully. So let's try see if now test is available anymore. Here you can see test is not available anymore so it has been dropped from the SQL Server database now let's try dropping test one as well so say drop database test one here you can see test one now here you can see still still test is visible I mean for this particular session it will still be visible if you exit and then re-enter into the SQL Server then it would not be visible anymore but it would be there in cache so you can still see that now here let's say hit test one hit enter and then highlight the enter entire query and then let's try passing it okay so it's error free let's execute so the command has completed successfully and the query executed successfully so let's see now here you can see the test and test one both are not visible so both of them they have been dropped from the sql server database now in the upcoming session we will see how to create tables in a database and how to add data to a table. Thank you for watching uh, my videos. Thank you so much.